Hi, thank you for joining us today. My name's Sally, and today we are going to be doing a Leap into Science Light and Shadow Science program. Um, this program was developed by the Franklin Institute of Science in Philadelphia, and they work with children ages 3 to 10 to encourage scientific thinking and literacy skills. And today, the first thing we're going to do is talk about light and shadow. So what do you think happens when I turn a flashlight on to a blank wall? What do you think happens if I turn it off again? What about if I turn it back on and move it far away and move it closer? What happens if I turn on the flashlight and hold my hand in front of the light beam. What do you see? What is happening there? Turn it off again. So a shadow happens when light is shining on a surface and another object blocks that light. If you ever walked down the street and you see your shadow next to you, it's because your body is blocking the sun light on the sidewalk. Have you ever tried to make hand shadows on a blank wall? Let's try now. When you put your hand in front of the light beam, you notice you see your shadow of your hand because your, ha your hand is blocking the light and creating the shadow on the surface behind. So you can make different shapes with your fingers. Have you ever made a bunny rabbit? Or what happens when you move your fingers different ways? Or what if you put both hands together? Challenge yourself with the shadow cards. All you need is a flashlight and a blank surface behind you. And check out these books from the library to learn more about shadow and light. Hello and welcome. My name is Monique and for the second activity we will talk about the reflection of light. The reflection of light is the bouncing of light by any smooth surface, like a mirror. What does a mirror do? A mirror reflects and changes the direction of light. The path of light does not bend. It's always straight, but we can make it bounce in this experiment. Let's take our flashlight and a piece of paper. Shine your flashlight onto the surface of a piece of dark paper. What do you see? What does the paper look like under the light? How can you tell the light is shining on the paper? Now let's take your flashlight and a mirror. Shine your flashlight onto the surface of the mirror. What do you see? How can you tell that the light is shining on the mirror? The light as it leaves the flashlight and hits the mirror is called the incident ray. The light that is reflected from the mirror is called the reflection ray. I'd like you to try and bounce the reflection ray from the mirror to the corner behind you. Did it work? How can you tell? Now try to bounce the reflection ray onto the ceiling. How can you tell if it worked? Where else can you bounce the light to? Thank you for listening and keep exploring. I'm Mr. John and for our third activity, we are going to be exploring color mixing by shining lights through different colored surfaces. Let's start off by taking our flashlight and shining it onto the white piece of paper. Now, Let's take one of the colored cellophane sheets that are available to you in your activity kit and try shining our flashlight through it. So let's take our yellow cellophane sheet and shine the flashlight through it. What do you notice? Now let's take the blue sheet and put it on top of the yellow sheet and see if we can mix some colors. What do you notice now? Let's try it with the lights off and see the difference. So let's take the yellow cellophane sheet and shine our flashlight through it. What do you notice? 
Now let's try to mix colors. We'll take a blue sheet and put it on top of the yellow sheet and shine it, our light through it again. What happens? What color did that make? Take a look in your activity kit for more colored cellophane sheets and see what kind of colors you can mix. If you want a kit of your own, visit our website to register. The link's below. And inside, the, inside your activity kit, you're going to get the following supplies. A flashlight, the cardstock paper and the black construction paper, shadow challenge cards, different colored cellophane sheets, as well as a little mirror. And with all of these supplies, you can do all of the experiments we did today. Thanks for watching. And be sure to tune in for more Leap Into Science programs coming this year. Thanks, everybody.